Hi, welcome to BizSite. Today we're going to take a look at creating, copying, and editing a bill of material as well as routing steps, uh, th which are basically the foundation blocks uh, to create a work order. To do that, we're going to start on the manufacturing side. Um, you have the option of uh, uh, starting with our bill of resource which is nothing more than a combination of bill of material and routing steps which we basically call bill of resource uh, the same information is available on the left side uh, by going into the uh, item list and uh, choosing the item and then starting the process from there so let's go ahead and choose the item for this exercise Here's our list, and this is a combination of you know manufactured items and uh, purchased items. So I'm going to start a new item. Uh, we're going to uh, key in a a mongoose bike. A mountain bike, and I've got uh, the description already cut and pasted, so I'm going to just paste that in. I'm going to choose a uh, item group. I've got a bike group, so I'm going to use that. And let's go ahead and put a, a picture here. Um, I've got a picture of this bike, so let's go ahead and select that from our file. And this, this image actually gets saved into the database, so it always stays with the item. Um, so at this point, we've got just basic information. Now we need to add the, the information for manufacturing. So as soon as you do that, notice the tabs, additional tabs are added to the items. So the second tab is the bill of material tab, third tab is the operation tab, and then the combination is the cost tabs. Um, so here what we're going to do is we're going to um, search for the, the different items that we want to add. Uh, we're going to add a handle, a, a frame, um, and a set of brakes, and we'll add two wheels. Um, we'll go ahead and change the quantity. Uh, it'll, it'll typically default to one, we can change the quantity and we'll put a seat on it and then the third tab um, is our uh, and actually before we go to the third tab let's put a note um, so here you've got the what we call the memo uh, these are uh, notes memos specific to a uh, material uh, that you can print on a uh, traveler work order uh, that goes along with the job or work order Next, I'm going to the third tab, which is the operation tab. The operation tab is basically, um, you know, you may have heard it referred to as the routing steps. Uh, it's basically a sequence of operations that a uh, material goes through or, or, or a bunch of material go through to transform that material by adding value, uh, making it, uh, making the parent item. So here I'm going to um, add about four steps. So we'll, we'll add a material preparation. We'll uh, cut some material. I'm going to call it cut to length. Then we're going to uh, put the, uh, the 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 various standards. Um, so I added the setup time in the first row, and then uh, basically the processing time for just that one step for that one item, uh, where one unit of the item. So next, I'm going to send it into a painting booth. I've got some setup that going on there. Put some runtime or processing time. I could change the uh, the uh, the labor codes and the overhead codes that affect that specific work center. For simplicity, I'm just using the same one here. Once again, I can add uh, notes specific this time specific to the operation. So we'll just put something here. All material needs to be available or should be available prior to you know stage before you start the work order <coughs> okay. now, um, next I want to just touch on what uh, what we call count points these are not required but I would suggest that uh, I would recommend that you use them um, and typically, every uh, even if you are not focused on worrying about tracking material, I would at least have one operation. And, and uh, here, I'm actually adding a material count point and a Y count point. The material count point allows you to issue material out. Y count point allows you to put the finished item into stock. And then I go to the cost tab, and just summarizes this and translates it into cost. 
what does it cost to build this item based on the standards that you've set, based on the labor code, based on the quantities per to make the final item. So now we come back to the, um, uh, the general tab um, and uh, here uh, I'm going to price this item to be $650. The, the, uh, the cost to manufacture this uh, material labor overhead is, has been calculated $280 some dollars. We're going to go ahead and save this. Next, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, uh, I'm going to show you how you can copy a bill of material and basically information from another one. So here I'm starting with the ProLite bike and I'm going to copy it into a new item. So I'm going to call this new item fix it. That's what I'm typing into that uh, pop up grid and I've chosen to use the, the bomb and the uh, and the operations from the ProLite um, and uh, I'm going to select uh, um, uh, image for that and I think I'm gonna I've got a, something called fixy one and actually I should have removed that image to start off but uh, or deleted that image but uh, here I'm gonna choose this again and you're gonna see the new image pop up there and there you go right and uh, you'll see the material that came in from the uh, uh, super pro uh, light and a few clicks you copy the bomb and you get a new item with a bill of material. You can also uh, go into an item and specifically copy bomb or operations from another item. So if you've had something very similar you want to just copy bits and pieces of things then you can use the copy bomb copy operation to do that. Okay. All right next uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna take you to the work order and show you that when you create a work order, we actually capture this information that you just created. Meaning, you can bring in the bomb, bring in the operations, and you can make changes to the bomb and the operations within the work order without affecting the the original bill of resource. Okay. So, for some reason, you decide you want to, uh, you know make a change specific to the work order, that change affects only the work order. So we're going to create a, uh, a, work, uh, uh, a work order for Mongoose. I, I ended up, I chose a customer, it's not required, but you know, if this is assigned to a specific customer, then there you go. So you, as soon as in here, I'm going through the bomb and the operation tab, just to show you that the bomb and the operation have been brought into the work order. So they are currently what I call captured within this work order. And, and, and to prove a point that you can actually make changes specific to the work order, I'm going to just edit this, edit some descriptions. Again, I can, I have full control over this. I'm going to go back to the bill of material um, and I'm going to just add another material. And once again here I can copy as well. I can copy from other work orders, I can copy from other, other items, bill of materials and, and in some cases if that's if you're using or doing a custom job but it's something that you've done before this is one of the ways to do that. So back to it and I'm going to just print it out to show you that it actually captures that information. So there's our uh, work order template. Again, these templates are all customizable. You can customize this. There are several versions of it. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Going to go back to the manufacturing homepage. And uh, once again, we can or could have started the bill of resource there. Um, and again, all I'm doing here is just showing that uh, You can open the bill of resource from there, but instead I went back to the list and then pulled it up from the list to show you the uh, um, operations and the material. All right. Well, uh, hopefully that has given you a good sense for how to add, copy, uh, and edit a bill of material and how it behaves in the different places. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to get in touch with us. Thank you.